Hi, I'm Gene. And I'm Michelle. And we are the, the Band Pickers. Pickers. How are you guys doing today? Good, good. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Okay, so uh, she said we wasn't going to do a video today. She said we wasn't? She said we wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I, but we, we I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I so, lied. So we went to the bin yesterday after we did our video, our Sold Sunday. We went to the bin. We got a whole bunch of good stuff. Yeah, they close. Uh, women's stuff, so. Yeah, and they close early on Sunday, so it's like they close at 7. They do their last switch out at 5. So, like, we'll just go watch a few switch outs. Bleh, I can't even talk. Yeah. So, that's what we did. And we so, spent almost $100, so we got a lot of stuff. I didn't put it all in. We only got a few men's things, so. Um, so. But this is women's stuff, and. There was I some think good there's stuff. Some good stuff. So, we're going to work on getting this stuff on this week. Well, probably some so, of it we'll put into lots, put on Macari. Yeah. Some of it we'll list on eBay. We'll try to get through this. We, we're we're going to try this new thing, like actually go to the bin and actually put on everything we get, or most everything. With a few exceptions. A few exceptions, know. like jackets yeah. will probably Even though I sold, th I th we sold three or four jackets today. We did. So Already. maybe so, maybe we should list the jackets maybe. out. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, before we end this haul, though, we had a comment that I wanted we're to. We're just going to like talk about this comment really quick. On our video yesterday, on our sold Sunday, okay? So, um, Rocky Road said, can you explain how it is worth your time to source, photo, list, and ship off one-off items for $5 plus shipping? Is it that hard to find things that will sell for more and wouldn't take any more time? It just seems sourcing at the bins and selling one-off items for five bucks is the definition of turning eBay into a grind. So we kind of wanted to address that. Um, first of all, we have no intention of selling stuff for $5 when we get it, right? I mean, I don't pick up an item like, woo, I'm going to sell for five bucks. Yeah, I'm going to get it. Even though it's still sometimes it is hard to leave just five bucks sitting there. But I understand, like, it does take time to source. It takes time to list. It takes, you know, photo, all that stuff. And we want to sell everything that's $100 or more. But <laughs> that's pretty hard. It is. And, I mean, even $30 or more. But so most of the stuff we sold yesterday, the majority of it, I would say like 80% of it, I had it on or we had it on Buy It Now at a much higher price and it didn't sell. Sent it out to auction for a higher price. It didn't sell. Sent it out again to auction for a little bit higher. Didn't sell. So we, when we were in Montana, there comes a point where you yeah. have to just get rid of it. Like we had a Lululemon. I think it only sold for five dollars, right? A it tank did. top or whatever that sold for five dollars. Now when we got it, we didn't go, "Woo, this will sell for five dollars." I mean, she had it on probably for twenty, twenty-five dollars. Buy it now for a long time. It didn't sell. We sent it to auction for ten bucks. It didn't sell. And I sent it for five. So, and we sent it for five. And you hope that it doesn't sell for five, that it gets bid up. But that didn't. eBay's kind of slow right now, I guess, or some, uh, something weird Items going aren't on. selling as high as they used to on certain things. But okay? we need to sell stuff, and sometimes it only sells for $5. Definitely not our plan to sell stuff for $5. And we I like think to sell stuff higher. People have different business models. Like, they would just take those items and just re-donate them back okay like we, women, though? I mean, we don't usually do that we will try to sell it to make our money now here's the thing not even to make our money back usually when we go to the bin one of the items we get will cover the whole trip okay so let's say we spent a hundred dollars we usually will get one item that will sell for a hundred dollars so then the rest usually. of it's profit okay? or sometimes two items or sometimes two right they'll, have, they'll sell for a hundred Right, so whatever. we have like two fifty dollar items, or even right. a couple thirty five dollar items, or whatever. Right. So, usually, then anything else we sell is just profit on top of that. Right. So these five dollar items that we sold yesterday, yeah, I don't want to sell stuff for five bucks. I don't think anybody wants to sell stuff for five bucks. I don't want to bring the prices down on eBay, but unfortunately, to get rid of stuff, sometimes you have to just, you know, liquidate. Now, when you go into a store. And you see their price. Oh, this stuff came out and it's full price. Oh, then they put it on sale and then they put it on sale again. And then eventually it goes on clearance and you're buying it for a dollar, right? I mean, that happens. Yeah. Let's, you know, any store, Target, Walmart, um, any big store even. I mean, yeah. any big fancy store, you know, that has $100,000 items. Eventually that item's going to get way down in price. That's just how business works. And then sometimes they just donate it too. And so, sometimes they do just donate it. And we yeah. could do that. We could just donate back, but we're going to make a little money off of it. Right. I mean, we did take the time to take the picture and list it and all that stuff. And most of the time, the stuff we get, light, like the Lululemon thing, I mean, we have less than 50 cents in it. We sold for $5. Not our, that's not our business model, but sometimes that's what we have to do. We still make money. Right. 
and we got rid of it. And I mean, sometimes it does feel like a grind when you're just sending out $5 items, but we actually sent quite a bit of stuff out this morning because we sold a few things last night. We sold a few things this morning. So it's yeah, like, it actually seemed like it picked up because we sold a bunch of jackets and or yeah. like three or four. I don't know how many, but something like that. So yeah, I mean, it's actually slow time now too. We still need to sell stuff though, you know, yeah. and sometimes you got to sell for five bucks. I don't like it, but we got to sell stuff. We also sold forty dollar items yesterday. Or we still Sunday, okay too. overall you know, yesterday so. we did eleven times our money. So and that's really low for us. It is really low. I mean, a lot of people just do like three times their money and they're happy with that. Yeah, it wasn't eleven times our money and we made thousands of dollars, but we still made some money and we were on vacation. So yeah, and everyone runs their business different, their eBay business, yeah. and that's the great part of doing it. This is how we do it. We still want to make something off the items that we've had for a long time and can't sell. And for the most part, I never make 10 will... times our money, then that's not a horrible loss. Right. And we always try to get more out of an item than $5. <laughs> yeah. Right? But uh, when eBay's slow and some things you can't get rid of, you got to just get rid of them. Yeah. There you go. There so, was our explanation. So hopefully that yeah. answered the question. Um, there we go. Everybody has a different way. Um, I don't want to sell $5. So hopefully next Sunday, we don't have a bunch of $5 items. Yeah. Hopefully we have a bunch of 10 or 15 When, when you $20 send stuff items. out to auction, though, it's kind of like a gamble. It's like you send it out for $5. It might sell for $5. It might sell for $105. Yeah, you just never know. There you go. Lately, though, we sent stuff out to auction and it hasn't been selling really good. It's true. But whatever. Let's get into our there haul. There it is. Okay. So I was excited to find these. I found the box, and then I found one, and then I searched down, no, 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 found another one. It wasn't in the shoes. It was in the stuff. They're a little sticky on here. I got to use something to get this sticky yeah, so of this. Yeah, so it's sticky on here for some reason. And I don't know why. So I might just clean this off really good, uh, maybe with some alcohol or something, and then put, like, clear nail polish over yeah. it to kind of seal that in. But they're in. Tory Burch, right? Oh, yeah, they're Tory Burch. Sorry, I didn't say that. Tory Burch. I mean... The soles look pretty good. Like, they haven't been worn that much. They have a little bit of wear Real here. Real fur from sheep. So, they're kind of cool boots, right? I mean, they're called Kiwi yeah. or Kiki or something like that. Because the box was there, but it was kind of destroyed, so I didn't get the box. Okay. So, there's those boots. Those will obviously be better um, in a in few In a month or two. Yeah. yeah. So Because, I mean, it's getting close. It's July, so August. September starts getting cooled off everywhere right yeah. so yeah i think jackets are coming so this brought back memories for me because our daughter had the exact same one that she begged and begged and begged and begged and begged 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 for yeah. <laughs> too and bad i couldn't find it find it at the bin we got it for her for christmas and we went out christmas eve and got it because like christmas eve she's like this is what i really want so we ran on christmas yeah. eve and bought her one of these so it's a 2006 baby alive has the soft face um she works so just clean her up a little bit and um she's probably about 40 bucks yeah so we had one not too long ago and how, how much did i sell it for I, th I thought you sold it for 45 but maybe but that was a 2007 it was a potty one so it was a oh, little bit different one yeah this is but, a potty one no but it had the pot like go on the potty but oh. she has her original outfit and actually looks pretty clean um so we'll see Okay. I mean, she probably weighs what, like two pounds? So she cost I'm us, hungry. you know, two fifty. Yeah. I'm hungry. She's so cute. I'm hungry too. Sorry. Okay, so this is something that Michelle always likes to pick up. Okay, well, I'm either gonna keep it's super, super duper soft, it is right? Soft. It's from Disney Parks. Can you see the? And it has Mickey and Minnie on it. Things on that side. It's a throw blanket sides, right? or for the car or something. I'll probably try to sell it. Yeah, um, Disney parks. I'll like probably list out for 20, 25 bucks, 20, 25 bucks. And if it doesn't sell, I'll keep it and put it in the car. <laughs> it's been a while since we've had sheets. It has. So I'm going to address this. We got I, a negative feedback for some curtains that we sold. Okay. Um, when we were gone, I'm like, Oh man. And the person had them. I don't know. We've had like three negative feedbacks. We haven't had any for a really long time. And then the just past like two weeks, three negative feedbacks it's been a long time since we've had them like over a year two years maybe yeah, i'm gonna set her up here so she's not sitting down. okay i'll set her over here I'll on the floor her there she's making noise sorry go ahead so they said it was faded on the curtains and i i was a little disappointed because i felt like 
well, I didn't notice they were faded, and I wish they would have sent me a... I don't like it when people leave negatives, and then they don't contact you before they leave a negative. eBay was supposed to do something about that, where they have to contact you, remember, before they leave a negative feedback? Yeah, well... So it was kind of a bummer on that. Um, baby life still talking. Anyway, so... She's thirsty. I'm a little more hesitant on the curtains and sheets, I guess. I try to look okay. them over really well. These are Ralph Lauren, yeah. full queen, right? No, is or that queen? what it said? I don't know. It what just it says. said it says um, right here. Full. full. So that's a queen? No, it's a full. Well, the comforters usually are full queen. These just have little roses or little flowers on them. They're blue. Yeah. They look, it looked nice. They're still like. Kind I thought of, they were shabby sheep when I grabbed them and I saw it was Ralph Lauren. But Ralph Lauren, I mean, these are probably 40 bucks about, I would say. I'd list you them out. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Well, I you mean, didn't it depends. Look them up, so. On, you know, if people. I'll look it up, try to figure out what the pattern is. Okay. Ann Taylor. Yeah. It's a cute sweater. A lot of this stuff, I think, we'll put in lots, and some of it we'll list, and see how that goes, right? There was a ton Your of new stuff. Baby Alive is like so chatty over here. This is Caslon, which is Nordstrom, right? Yeah. Hoodie. Just a hoodie, I guess. It looks Probably comfy. expensive. It doesn't have a price, but. It doesn't have a price. That's weird. It doesn't have a sticker on the back either. Can, you sh can we shut her off? What? She's fine. She'll be done. What's this? Uh, Philosophy, right? I guess so. Yeah. It was just new. 68 bucks. There was tons of new stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, this reminds me of something. Mitty Mouse-ish, oh. isn't it? Oh. It's like green eggs and ham or something. Green but eggs anyways. and ham. Oh, it's like the spotted dog thing. Is that what it is? Something. Dr. Right? Zeus? Loft? Uh, Loft. So when we're picking items, we say, okay, is this like a $15 item? That's what usually we'll have in our mind. I mean, sometimes maybe only 10. Yeah, sometimes. Um, but look Liz at this, Claiborne. Liz Claiborne. Oh, this didn't have a price. It didn't have a price, petite. It has a cute pattern. Okay. And we pick up most anything that's new with tag. That's decent, I mean. Yeah. But I mean, this is cute. Look this at the really style cute. of this. Anna, petite, extra large. 44 bucks. Yeah, it's kind of a peasant -y. has a little tassel yeah. on the one, but maybe not on the other. Wait, is it missing one? I don't know. Maybe that's why it's at the bin. So, probably what I'll do is cut that off, then they'll be the same. Then they'll be the same. <laughs> cute, bright pink uh, cardigan. There were just tons of new stuff. This is Worthington, which is J.C. Penney's. Thirty-six, 36 bucks. bucks. I think some of the stuff too, though, it's like you list over on Poshmark, twenty bucks. You know, and take an offer. Yeah. More new with tag. Style, Style and coat. coat. This has Petite like a pink large. wash to it. It's kind of cool. Clearance at twenty-four fifty. This is a regular fifty dollars. What Style and Coat? Really? That's what it says. Old Navy, new with tag. It, is it new? Yeah. If it's not new, I don't. So this must have been somebody's a whole bunch because a bunch of them are extra large petite. So it must have been somebody just gave away a bunch of clothes. That they never wore. These are kind of cute. They have like you can wear them down, Hold and up. have. Oh no, you can't wear them down. So you what can is only it? Wear them up. They're cuffed. Stitch, Stitch star. star. Mm. I think they were from Meyer. Which is like, yeah, minor, it says. Um, I don't know, what's that like? I was going to say Fedco, and I'm like, wait, there's no Fedco anymore. What is it like? What is the Meyer like, like back on the West Coast? I can't even think. I don't know. Jeannie and Marlis. See, this is a petite extra large, too. Maybe we could do a lot up of petite extra large on these. It's a cute top. Cute. I'm trying not to say cute. Oh my gosh. Funky. <laughs> This is Old Navy size large. Oh, our 10 year old came up with a new word. What'd you say? C c cute and funky is conky. Yeah. Or something. Conky. <laughs> this is conky. <laughs> no. These this are wide leg. Linen pants, wide leg. I thought they were maternity, maternity but they're no, not. No, but it would say maternity if no. it was maternity on there. Okay. Linen. So much new stuff. This wasn't new. No. This is J. Crew, the some kind of cardigan. What's it say? The Karen cardigan. It's an outlet one. Um, I don't know how old it is. 
But some of these basic J. Crew pieces are pretty good. Sorry, you can let go. I'm going to look at this really quick. So okay. this is from... It's two years old. For, so it's from 2016. Summer 2016. This is pretty cute, huh? It is cute. Banana, Banana Republic. Republic. It's an outlet one, too. It has the dots. Gap. So much new. Gap. These are super cute, aren't they? And that's the thing. It's like, do you... If you're going into a bin... Size 6. Would you not get all this new attack stuff? 30 bucks, Gap. I mean... 15 bucks you could sell it for, right? Right. I, I mean, I, maybe even more. I don't know. I don't know. Knicker Probably can fuckers. sell it for more than six bucks, right? This was a cute little dress. Yeah. Oh, I'm not it seems cute. small, though, huh? It Size is, small. Size small. Loft. Loft. Yeah. Cute. No. We're not saying that. What are these? Loft. These are like crop pants. The Riviera pants. Oh, we yeah. had some shorts that were Riviera, but. 70 bucks. 70 bucks. Like, would you not get this? What if I end up selling it for $5? Do you not get it? Well, you should be able to get more than five. But I mean, a lot of those things that we sold for $5, we should have got more than $5 for. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, right? Yeah, it just depends. We're still learning just. Um, and Taylor Loft. And it's an outlet piece, but it's a like a pencil denim stretch skirt. But things are always changing too, so I mean, and they you are always keep learning, right? Absolutely. Loft. This is like a pet plum kind of, just on the sides. So maybe that's not what it's called. Maybe it's just a. But it feels like linen or something. It's like that slubby material. Okay. He didn't want to get this. I got it because I thought it was really... It has like the handkerchief hem, like raw edge hem. So it's, it's DKNY DK jeans? Yeah. It's so like... it's. It wasn't new, so I don't usually pick up too We much don't usually DK pick up this brand at all. But This is cute though and it's a black... It's a dress or... Yeah, it's like a dress. It's like a sundress or tunic. You could wear it with some I leggings. I see a lot of these people wearing these things. It's like, is this a dress? It's really short. But you see a lot of people wearing them as dresses. I know. I went to that. I mean, even the church. When I went with Rose to the, we went to one of the plays. It was Les Mis or Wicked or something. I was very surprised at how short some of these dresses are. Like, yeah, I mean, it's like. Because if you're sitting down and somebody stands up, it's like, and they're kind of tall. It's a little, it's a little too short, I think. A little too but short. hey, whatever. If that's what you want to do. Maurice says, yeah. I try not to wear too short of dresses. Please don't. That would be no good. Maurice says, new a tag. I'm going to pick that stuff up when I find new a tag stuff like that. Of course I'm going to get it. And there was just a ton. It was so much new stuff. <clears throat> like, and how do you know? I mean, it's like, but this it's here, what, 50 this is cents? Jones, New York. But look at the price tag. Polka dot knit. Look at that. Ninety-nine dollars. And I know retail price really has nothing to do with what you're going to sell your item well, for. Well, it has something to do with well, it. Well. I mean, obviously, we could never sell this for 100 So somebody or, had it at the garage sale for 2 bucks. We, you know, obviously, we couldn't sell this for 50 But. Maybe 15 20 bucks. 15 20 bucks. And it would have to be a long-term item. You'd have to probably <laughs> wait for the right person. Yeah. Like, I don't know how people do it that don't have, I guess they're just always purging. So they're just like, oh, you're going to donate. purging? Like, okay, I have this stuff on for four months. I'm going to get rid of it or stuff. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't have the space to really store stuff. Like, we have the space, so we can yeah, sit on stuff for a year if we want to. I don't want to. That's yeah. why we send some stuff out to auction to get rid of it. Gap. Yeah. Curvy. 14 regulars. That That's probably a pretty good size. They're dark. Yeah. And they're new. They are kind of flary jean. Are those coming back in? Those are coming back in. Oh, they? man, they are soon coming back in. No, those wide in. leg jeans are coming back in. <laughs> None of those wide, like super wide. What's this? Uh, this didn't have an inside tag. It just it says just has Dolma. This, or maybe it's down at the bottom. Maybe it is. I didn't really look. But. It's all embroidered, though. Like this I know, it's cool. It says, on it. it says $59 on it. I don't really know what that is. It was new. It's cute. It's like a tunic. Yeah. I thought it was a pineapple, but I think it's a paisley. I guess so. Cute. Uh, Zara? Is this new? No. 
This isn't new. Zora Basic. But it's a sheer, cute, light, white. Super. Sheer white. shirt. We don't get all this brand either. Because no. a lot of times it's messed up. Gotta figure out how it goes. I think those go in the front. Here's your Cute sleeves. and funky. I mean, that's what I go for. And this is cute. It's kind of like a boho. And uh, it's funky. Rose and funky. floral print. Has these cute sleeves. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's Angie, right? Angie. Which they sell at Nordstrom Rack, which I think it's more of a oh, Poshmark from brand. Rack. I think they sell other places, too. Okay. Back to new. Back to new. Calvin Klein. Size 8, flare jeans. Yeah. I don't like to get all these jeans because they're heavy. They cost more... Well, it's one lady that goes to the bin. She she gets stuff, too. I think she sells locally. Um, she finds a lot of new attack stuff, and sometimes if she's not going to get it, she'll be like, hey, you want this? Yeah, I'll take it. 50 bucks. I mean, 20, 25 bucks, right? These are from... These are from... Meyer also. Messini is a Walmart. Messini. I mean, a size 12. Good Meyer size. brand. They're only 28 bucks <clears> new. <throat> oh, then Clarence to. No, I thought that said Clarence. No. But these, like, they're embroidered down here, or you can cuff them up and show that embroidery like that. I mean, those are cute with, like, the raw, like, hem. But I thought you're not saying cute anymore. Oh, jeez. Try not to. Some of these things might only sell for five bucks. I hope they don't. New with tag and Taylor Loft. Jumps, price, like a jumpsuit. Pant, you know? Yeah. I mean, these I like are good, that. though. We sell these pretty yeah, good. Because I just had another one. Because I'm like, I've never seen a jumpsuit and Taylor. And then we got one and sold it right away. So. Did we? I don't remember. I think someone that watches this bought it or something. Oh, oh right, right. It was like a strapless Loft <clears throat> one. So this had a little... So, it needs a little yeah. like OxyClean right here. I was going to clean it up. It just has a little makeup on it, but it's free people size large. You, we, Embroidered. We don't get bigger sizes. Maxi dress has like raw, uh, like raw hem. Um, I mean, some of this free people is still good, right? And I, mean, I think a dress yeah. is going to be better. It's like a summary dress, so... I know, I should get it listed right away. Oh, but we're going to work on listing this stuff. Yeah. What about these? Like, do you save onto them? You put them out. Well, I mean, Christmas is coming. Christmas in July. Yeah. Hannah Anderson. I don't get a lot of kids' stuff. I usually get Hannah Anderson jammies. Because these things sell. We used to, like, in stuff. Oregon, so many people, like, had their kids wear Hannah Anderson in Oregon. Like, yeah. So these are size 5. They're bigger. Huh? They are bigger. We would lot it up into like, you know, the dresses with the little matching shorts. Like we used to get a lot of that stuff and sell it. Yeah. Not so much here. I was really excited to find this. You was? I was. You was? I was. It's still on their website, Johnny Was Workshop. It's like the- So you say this isn't a dress? I guarantee people wear this as a dress. Yeah, no, I, I, it says tunic. That's what it says on their website. Johnny Was Workshop has all the important, mica tunic, lace up, so originally it was like 268 bucks. They have it on their website, 174, but they only had size extra small. There's only one on eBay right now. It's new, 217 bucks. I'm gonna try 100 bucks for this. Yeah, I think 100 bucks maybe. I that's the first time I found Johnny was here. Like we found a couple pieces in California. Yeah. Um, but here I was, and then so I'm digging. Like, oh please, let there be more of that, but there wasn't. So this is Comfy USA. So is that Which, good? I mean, we've had it. I mean, we still have a dress on. I think that's that, and it's like a chevron print. Well, look at this. is so sheer. This you is better, very sheer. So it's like you better wear something underneath this. Well, or, I think you would. You'd wear like a little slip dress underneath it, or it has. So like, is it good? I, some of it's really good. Yeah. Some of it, not. It's just I don't know. But that's sheer. It has some stuff going for it. It has some stuff going for it. Flax. Flax? Small. I like this. It's a good brand, huh? It Flax. is. It has pockets here. So this is like a little sundress or tunic. We always sell this stuff size small. We do. And usually, I was just going to see if it was 100% linen, right? It usually... Do you want to smell it or anything? No, I think I won't smell. I am supportive. That's what the, I love the tags in here. 100% linen. 
and the Wait, that's the brand? I mean, that's the style? I am supportive? No, like, she always has little, like, motivational or little, like, sayings on the tags. You know, they're fun to oh, read. okay. This, you got Eileen Fisher little tunic tank top. Yeah. What size is that? Nice. Large. Large. This yeah. feels like linen also. Was it? It is. I'm going to look. You go for he it. He hit a spot of some good rich lady clothes. 100% linen. 100% linen. Back to new stuff. Abercrombie, we don't usually pick that up. This is but new, though. This was new. I mean, I pick up some of it. Women's extra small. It says $68 in the U.S. It, it's a good style, too. Like the sweater. It has like the big I mean, color. the younger people, maybe Poshmark or something. I mean, the younger people still wear this, right? Those younger people, I don't know what they're wearing. You don't? <laughs> we, did do we got some pretty decent stuff. Well, we're not done. I know we're not done, but I'm like, hey, yeah, Rock Revival jeans. We haven't found those. They are hem, so I'll have to disclose that. Wait, we have found them before. We haven't found them here. <clears throat> size 30. Stephanie. But that's women, size 30, right? Yeah, because they're called Stephanie. Okay. So I didn't look up what these... But they look pretty nice. Um, yeah. They, like I said, they are hem, so... And they're heavy. Yeah, but Rock Revival jeans are still... They're still pretty good. Pretty good. You found some Miss Me's, but they were missing some things on them. Yeah. They were missing three out of four, so we didn't get them. Of course, we always find North Face. This is yep. just a light women's... Jacket. Is it? Yeah. Patagonia, women's medium, just black. You know, nothing super fancy or anything, but... Basic. Hopefully five bucks for these. Ding, 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 ding. Just kidding. We should get a bell. <laughs> or a face. Well, I have a clap. I think it's I time to pass you your... To... No, no, no. Five bucks. No. I think it's time to pass the clapper along. It is? You just want me to get rid of it. <laughs> Our uh, one-year-old, he'll be one next week. But we could give away the he clapper and send it to someone. Somebody super wants excited. It. Someone wants a clapper, right? Yeah, this is Intimately Free People. Yeah. It has, like, raw edge. You know, this all funky... Funky. Ness. Shoes. I don't know. Do you get these? They're Betsy Johnson. They're like strappy. They look pretty nice. I mean, the soles, they didn't, nobody wore them too much. Nobody wore them too much. But they're like a lattice looking ankle strap. We never had much luck with Betsy Johnson though, right? Not too much. Those are cute shoes. But we'll give them a try. These are pretty worn. They're Tory Burch flip-flops, but they have the sparkles on them. They have a little logo. What size are they? They're teeny, they seem like. Yeah, and I don't see the size in them. Probably. Mm -hmm. Oh, here it is. No. No. Made in China. Yeah, I saw that. So where's the size on these? Uh, hmm. Have to figure it out later. I'll try them on. I don't see Oh, yeah, they, they fit good enough. Maybe fit I'll keep them. Enough. They're a little bit small. Hey, but they're cute. Okay, so sorry. cute. You said you weren't saying that anymore. Oh, whoops. This is funky. <laughs> What's this? It's been a light week. Olive and oak. Yes. Which is what? Like Stitch Fix or Nordstrom Rack? I don't know. I it's all embroidered fix. on it. This would be good in like two months, I for think. For Halloween? Yeah, for Halloween or people going like, you know, Disney has like their... But then on the other side. So it's Jack and then it's. So is this or a woman, right? Or you could right? be Sally. Jack or Sally. Or you could wear it. Because not a lot of guys are going to be Sally, right? Size I don't large. Know. Are they? Disney's night. I'm going the wrong Christmas. way. Mm. But that's pretty cool. That's cool. Reversible. Uh huh. We had one like that a long time ago. Okay. Land's End. Oh. Down. Hey, we only got one down jacket this time. What? <clears throat> oh, no. Wait, we got. <laughs> we got a vest. Yeah, lands in, large, tall, fourteen, sixteen, down. I just, I mean, this jacket is so expensive. It's hard to pass it up. I can't not get it, and it's light. I mean, it is light. It looks big, it but nice. you know, down is light. It's yeah, because it's probably what a pound, maybe, right? Yeah, I mean, so gosh, I, we have so many of these, so I hope we can sell them, but I can't not get them. Okay, sorry about that. Eddie uh, Bauer. Eddie Bauer, size 12. So Travix, this means something. Travix. Was, 
something like that. that. I think it just means like they're outdoory. These are like a stretch nylon. Good lightweight summer pants. We do pretty good with any mower, right? See, here's another down. Oh, it's boots. not a jacket, it's a vest. Eddie Bauer down. Has I a just. a little, like, we need it. Yeah, like they'll wipe off. right off. Um, I just, I have to get it. I don't, I don't, I can't help myself. Can't help myself. So expensive. I know. And I just hope we can sell them because there's, we have so many jackets. What's this? And soon, oh. soon we're going to be putting them all on. And then we'll know. Whether we should be getting them or not. Maeve, anthropology. Because in the past we've always done well. Sorry, I'm still on the. I yeah. guess. What is what this? this? Maeve, anthropology, size six. But you know, I see here it looks like maybe somebody took the straps in. So I'll mention that. Took the straps in? Does it look like it to you? Well, if they did, it was professional, right? Mm. I don't know. Made it a little shorter, maybe. Maybe. It's adorable. It's like a tiered kind of. Just white, right? Summer, off white, summer. ivory. Ivory. So oh. this also is kind of. He didn't want to get it, but I got it because it's from 2016, so well, it's not. Older. It has a thing. A lot of things not going for it, like size extra small. Extra small, small, but it has these short sleeves. It has a belt. Oh yeah, extra small, small. It's Banana Republic, okay. Yeah, but it's alpaca or something, right? Oh, was it? Some of it. I don't know. Where is that? But it's from fall of 2016, so it's not quite two years old. So it's visco, merino wool, nylon, merino, extra fine. That's it. No, no. Alpaca. Oh, I thought you said it was alpaca. No. But it is cute, but heavy. I, I mean, so it the ties way the belt front, goes, right? like with these loops. Through the back. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay. We'll try it. And then this. Like, how's this get in the bin? Who buys this? Well, even at Johnny was. It's still on their website. So somebody didn't have it that long and they donated. Yeah. This. Eileen Fisher, size large, new with tag, $228. Organic hand dyed paint kerchief linen, ballet neck tunic, $228. Amazing. There it is. Yeah. Love it. You know, probably not 100 bucks, but. I'll, I'll probably try 75 on that 75. one. 75 Lou and Gray, is this a dress? Yeah. yeah it is a dress. Mm -hmm. <gasps> It is so soft. It is really soft. Oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting that softness. Size small. So Lou and Gray is... Ann Taylor, right? Oh, it is? Oh, that's not what I thought. Okay. Yeah, cute. Cute and soft. Cute and soft. Cute and soft. So I saw these, and at first, when I first saw them, I thought it was um, St. John's. But when I grabbed them, you could I could tell immediately from the feel that they weren't St. John's. But I'm like, you know what? It looks like St. John's. It's cute. It's a, yeah. And it's a they're size older. 18. Mida. You know, they're acrylic nylon. It looks crinkle, christmas -y Crinkle spun. Made in the USA. Size 18. Yeah, that's a good size. Yeah. They are like... It's christmas -y though, right? It's a nice, like, professional-looking suit, and it's red like power color and there was two of them right together and they just I mean some of them don't sell well these were a bigger size just Christmas seed to me right there's a little bit 18. of discoloring or no it's just the shadow from the green yeah um, so we don't know put them together it is Christmassy isn't it I think they're both kind of Christmassy things I'll list them out probably about 40 bucks a piece and then we'll see what happens he didn't want to get this, but I'm like, I'm getting it. Well, that, since I me messed up on those Mona paint things and didn't get them, and they were like funky okay, so, art to wear thing. So I'm going to tell you, this is cute, but all it says is ADD. I know. So what do you think that means? ADD, attention and attention deficit, deficit disorder. disorder. Okay, so this is like this hem. It's or all, just add. And there's no other tab. But there's no size, nothing. So I would have not picked this up. Okay, well I'm gonna try it. it even it though it is really cute, funky it's enough, I'm gonna try. Probably it. like a size small because it's not super big. I'm gonna try it anyway. But she wanted to try it anyway, so we got it, right? Yeah. I don't know if this is any good. I didn't either. I just saw it's new and it's older, right? It's Beatrix Potter collection. You know, it's just from Myers. It's two ninety nine. 
Yeah, but this is old. It says it? good bunny. How cute is little bunny? So if, I don't know. if we don't sell it, I said I'll send it to my niece. Probably five bucks. <laughs> and this is the last This thing. was funky enough I had to get it. We did get a few men's things, like I said, but I we didn't get anything good men's and we got some other stuff. There was some exercise stuff that I didn't put in here. Dilemma New York, which is like art to wear. Some of those looked really good, but this is like This is really funky. It's almost like kimono style ish. Right? Has these things hanging off, but it just so what is another it? tag. Dilemma? Open. Maybe it's supposed to have a belt. It's supposed to have a belt. That's all right. Okay, we'll have to list it without a belt. Does it have a size though, or just one I size? I don't see probably. anything. Probably I don't see any other size. tags. I don't know if it was. Some of them know. looked really good, Kinda and cool. some didn't look like they sold for ten bucks. So that one was funky enough. We're gonna right. try it. We're gonna try to get five bucks for it, and maybe it'll sell for fifty, right? I'm gonna probably put it on buy it now. So I'm gonna work on. Okay. The next few days, I'm going to put the most of this stuff on. Yeah, let's I'm try start. some of these jackets. Let's do some of these down jackets see what happens. Since it's already pulled out, let's try it. Want to? What do you have to lose? Okay, so we're going to try to Sell get this stuff five on. five bucks, right? We'll see what happens this week. So Yeah, I'm going to work on getting these pictures, getting this on the next couple of days, I think. Sounds good. Yeah. But we just had to share with you guys because we went to the bin, even though we said we weren't going to do a video, but we're like, ah, we just want to show you guys. So then we can go again and do another to share video. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, I want to go to the bin again. Yeah. Well, it's hopefully, fun. Like, hopefully we can get another haul video this week. and Maybe. You know, going and it's like you're really excited and like we both like, oh, we're excited, you know, like I'm excited when he gets something good and he's excited when I get something good. I'm more excited when I get something good though for some reason. I know, but then, so it's nice, it's like fun to like share with people. So I like to, yeah. and I like to see on Instagram too what people get or, you know, people comment and tell us their fun stuff they yeah. get. It's like, and then oh. you see other people's stuff and you're like, oh, I wish I could get that. You I know, know I mean? right? Ah, I think we did pretty good for um, Indiana. We did pretty good bin, for at the bend, right? Yeah, I think I mean, so. Newitag, Attack, Eileen Fisher, Johnny Was, Tory Birch Boots, um, some other good stuff. Something else in there, right? Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll work, work on, on getting some this lots on. Too. Yeah. Okay. So when we came back from our trip, we actually put on some Macari lots. I think there's still one left, but I think we sold. We did. We had them all ready to go before them. we left, so when we came back, we could just we knew we could bust those yeah. out and put them on. So there's one left of just regular women's clothes, clothing. And I'll go through this stuff, pull a whole bunch of stuff out, make a lot of it too, and sounds good. Take pictures of other stuff for you to put on and get rid of it. Then we yeah. can go get some more stuff. Let's try to turn it this like faster. Get it, list it. Hopefully, yeah, get and rid we'll of it. try that for a while, but then we're gonna have to concentrate on getting all our jackets. Then we'll on just not go to the bend for a while and list what <gasps> we have. <laughs> okay, okay, so that's it. That's what we got. That's what we're gonna be working on the next few days. And hope you guys have a great week. It's Monday, woohoo! So, yeah, um, yeah, have a great week. Thank you for watching. Uh, we won't put out a video tomorrow. Sorry, <laughs> oh, you never know. No, come on. So, yeah, um. Just keep listening. I know today seemed like we sold quite a bit of stuff. This morning. This like, morning. So, and I actually sold something on my son's Poshmark. You did. And did you sell something on Poshmark? I did this weekend. We already yeah. I haven't sold something else. And so we sold some stuff on the men's, women's. So it seems like things are starting to pick up a little bit. So just keep listening and yeah. There you go. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Pick outside the box. Bye. Funky.